Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Go ahead and state your name and tell me what is your ride. What am I looking at? Well, my name is Julio Lopez, and I drive a 2012 Mitsubishi Evolution X GSR. Now, growing up, me, I'm 34 years old, and I grew up with the Evo 8s, and I mean, the 4G63, that was like my fantasy dream car, and then the 10 was the final kind of addition and the, the final hoorah for, for Evos, yeah. and so tell me why Evo, why Mitsubishi, what do you love about this car? Honestly, I grew up seeing the Evo as like a cool, nice, danced car, and the thing that topped it off was the movie Tokyo Drift. Ever since I seen that Evo in Tokyo Drift, I was just like, I need me an Evo. That's pretty cool. So you you reference a movie yeah. and as your inspiration yeah. for your build and for the, the car you have. Um, tell me, growing up, did you have a, a family that was into cars? Were you into the car culture? Or, or strictly, how did you get into um, loving what we're here for now? Well, I got into the culture because of my parents, my dad, my uncles. They all were into the scene back then, and mostly into like the ricer scene, like the big body kids, ex exaggerated mods and stuff like that. And I always thought that was cool. Growing up, eventually, we turned into tuners, and we like properly built cars, well, like just nice parts, real Japanese parts, and having the car look nice overall. I appreciate the fact that you say real Japanese parts, no knockoffs, right? So, with, <laughs> so without saying too much, what have you done to your car? Because it's one of the best modified Evos here. I think there's only a couple of Evos here to begin with. Well, right now it's not much done to it. I just have wheels, which are the Kanze KMPs. I, I, I dipped them white and I'm on BC Extreme Lows. I have little things done to the car like side extensions, lip kits, clear tail lights, upgraded headlights, stickers, tent. And right now what I'm working on is just bolt-ons. I'm collecting bolt-ons at home to make it like around 500 horsepower, just reliably, since it's my daily for now, you know? Right on, yeah, yeah. So that's what you want, kind of like a daily, reliable, fast kind of car. Right, right, right. That's awesome. Okay, and serving the fact that it's a sedan, has it been able to get you, you know, carrying friends, you know, going from job to job, work site to work site? Tell me how, how the benefits of sedan, of, of living the sedan life uh, are for you. Oh, it's so much better. I prefer sedans over coupes any day because Coops, yeah, they're cool and all. They like that nice, sleek look and all. But you just can't fit anybody in there. You don't have any space. And I prefer four doors because you can have all your homies in there. They still look cool. And sometimes four doors look better than coops in my opinion. I love it. I love it. I, I feel the same way. Last question, and then I'll let you enjoy the rest of the show. Um, Evo 10, amazing beast all-wheel drive. Come 15, 20 years, California wants to go full electrification, limiting us to only be buying uh, brand new electric cars and only having these guys on the used markets. Tell me your feelings about electrification and uh, would you drive an electric car? What's the future of the car culture going to be like um, as we transition over? I think it's pretty cool that we're transitioning over to electric cars, but there are, there's always going to be a gas powered car, I feel like. There's always going to be that person that keeps their old car, modifies it, and has it in their garage. And they also have their electric car on the side as their daily. So I feel like that's how things are going to be once electrical cars become in session or like become more modern than gas cars. People are going to just have electric cars as dailies and gas cars as project cars and stuff like that. All right, so you welcome it, but you know the reality. We're going to keep these gas cars. Uh, any final words? What's your Instagram? Anything you want uh, people to find you at? You can follow me on Instagram at Ilis Julio, and you can also follow my brand at getlucky.co on Instagram. We're blowing up slowly and soon to see many cars with the Get Lucky stickers out here on the streets. Fantastic. I will uh, I'm to just go ahead and do some walk-around shots and make sure I get some of your uh, branding and logos on it, but I appreciate your time. Thank you.